I have to love what I do. If I don't love what I do, if I'm not passionate about what I'm teaching, it's very difficult to make students passionate about it. I needed to go into business, that's what was calling me, and I did my first year of accounting and economics and thought, I can never do that again, that is just not me. And while I was at, uh, doing my undergrad, I, I stumbled upon marketing as one of the core courses, and I fell in love with it. It just made sense. It was that combination of the science, the numbers, the analytic, as well as the creative. When I was in industry, uh, I was in a pretty senior position. I thought, I would much rather go somewhere that is lower paid but I actually got to do something exciting and different and impact someone else's life. I was that annoying student that talked a lot in class, so straight away the lecturers knew that I, I had something to say and I would always talk. So when I went into industry, I went into the real world of marketing, they would always ask me back to do guest lectures, and I kind of got the bug. It was really exciting listening to people and chatting to them and telling students about what we're doing, and, and that kind of got exciting. I get crazy passionate about what I do. I enjoy it. I really look forward to it. Now remember, I think if anything I've become more comfortable in being myself, I've been more comfortable in trying to engage students on a level that they understand, but also that is authentic to who I am as well. And that's usually a little bit more relaxed, usually a little bit more conversational, usually a way of trying to teach which not just focuses on me as the knowledge generator and the knowledge disseminator and them as the receiver, but together we work on developing knowledge and co-creating knowledge uh, as a room. And so we allow students to dialogue, we allow students to chat, we allow students to work with each other in order to develop this sort of ideas, the knowledge, and then I can be there as a navigator rather than a director. A lot of the students know the answer. They're just sometimes looking for someone to help confirm it. Uh, but teasing it out of them, getting them to develop those answers, developing those ideas and allowing them to grow makes my life easier in the future because I don't have to keep spoon feeding them. It also makes their life much easier in the future because they know how to work out the answers for themselves. They know how to come up with the solutions. There will be something that a student says uh, that is like, they got it, it's clicked. You just see that click and you're like, that's amazing. That, uh, it's, it's just, and I, I, I kind of want to hug them, I want to say, you've done it. I want my students to be better. I want them to know stuff better. I want them to be better. If they can come out and learn how to learn, then I've been a success in my mind. Because then you can just learn the stuff later, whatever it might be. So if the students come out being better people, then I feel I've been a success.